Hello everyone, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. In this video I'll teach you how to make a deck of playing cards, a bit like the ones that you see on screen now. Um, it's a relatively simple tutorial, so um, if you're a beginner, uh, it will appeal to you. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Go ahead and open your scene in Blender, click on General, select everything and delete it. Now add in a plane and scale this to a size of however big you want your playing card to be. I'm going to have mine that big, and now let's just scale it down a bunch, so like so. Now let's go in, select everything, do Control B to bevel, and down here in the bottom left, click Vertex only, add in some segments, and you can change the offset to however bevel do you want it. So if you want an oval you can do that, but for us we're going to have a playing card, so something like that. Um, now that we've done that, go back into edit mode, uh, go on to face select, extrude upwards just a little bit, um, and this will give us two faces, one for the back of the playing card and one for the front. Um, now let's go into our UV editing mode, so go into 7, edit, UV, and project from view. Now that's the top one, let's do the same from the bottom, UV, and project from view. Now I'll go into the description and I'll leave uh, two textures, uh, one is a playing cards list of all the playing cards and the other is um, going to be the back of the playing card. So go ahead and download that. Once you've downloaded that, go into your shading and add a new material. Add in a image texture and plug the color into the base color of your material. Now go ahead and open up wherever you save that material to. We're going to start with the back of the card. Go ahead and open up your UV editor. and select the back of card texture. Go into your edit mode and select that face and scale it up until you have the right size for your card. Okay now that we've done that let's do the other side of the card. So go ahead go into your material, add a new material and click on the face and a sign on material too. Now that should make it white do the same thing by adding in an image texture, plugging the color into the base color, and open up wherever you saved the cards textures to. Now obviously you guys don't need to use the same uh, cards or back of the card textures that I used. Uh, these, are the just, these are just the ones that I'm using. You can use whatever you want, or you can make your own with the texture paint feature in Blender. So just scale your card up to the size of the faces in here. It doesn't need to be too precise, just so you know what card you're looking at. Alright, now you can choose any of these cards. I'm going to go with the Ace of Spades. Okay, now that we've done that, we can go ahead and turn up the roughness on both of these textures and this will just make it less shiny. Now that we've done that, go back into Layout, go to your Modifiers tab, add in an Array modifier, change this one to 0, and just move the Z one up just a tad, so that there's a little gap in between it and the gap isn't too big. Now put in however many cards you want in the stack of cards, I'm going to do 52, and hit Apply. Go into your Edit Mode, and separate them by loose parts. Out of edit mode, click F3 and type randomize and go to randomize transform. Now just slightly change the X and Y values of these and don't touch the Z because um, our Z axis is alright. Now that you've slightly moved that, go into object mode and click join and this will join all the cards together and you've got your deck of cards. It looks pretty cool. 
The next thing we need to do is set up the scene and do our lighting. I'm going to do that off camera. So I just uh, set up a plane with a felt, gain, a felt green texture, uh, like a poker table or whatnot. Now I'm going to select uh, everything and again separate it by loose parts just so I can grab the bottom card. Shift E to duplicate and just copy that there. Now you can copy that one again and rotate it by 180 degrees. Now you can move that up. Not 180. Sorry, that's my bad. Rotate it by negative 180 it seems. Negative 180, sorry about that. Alright, now that we've got the value on the card uh, and the face down card and the deck, we can join all the deck together by selecting one of them and joining. Now we can add in our camera and our light and then begin to render. For the light, I'm just going to have a, a small yellow hue on it and move that a bit to the side. Now you can begin to render your scene by clicking F12 on your keyboard. Okay, so this is a render in the EV rendering engine. You can do it in cycles if you want, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do it in EV because I'm running out of time. Um, so yeah, this is what our final product looks like. You can use this in a casino scene or wherever else you would have playing cards, I guess. Uh, and you can change the value of the card to whatever card you like. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you did, subscribe. Um, and if you made it to the end of the video, comment the numbers 846 in the comment section, and I will give your comment a heart. Peace.